वेलकम इन दिस सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिक्स जी सिक्स जनरेशन मोबाइल नेटवर्क कम्युनिकेशन सो इन दिस टुडे लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द सम ओवरव्यू ऑफ द सिक्स जनरेशन मोबाइल नेटवर्क कम्युनिकेशन एंड सम फीचर्स ऑफ द सिक्स जी एंड वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस द ओवरव्यू ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फोर नेटवर्क और फाइव नेटवर्क बेसिकली we will discuss today first one is the space network then air network then we will discuss the moving network then we will discuss the ground network and in the final we will discuss the underwater sea networks so what 5g what 6g is so 6g is uh, the sixth generation of the mobile network communication and uh, it improves the some Uh, shortcomings of the 5G and uh, the 6G is totally based on the artificial intelligence system and uh, this is the uh, terahertz network the frequency spectrum of the uh, spectrum of the sixth generation that is in the terahertz and uh, the wavelength uh, that is used in the sixth generation mobile network communication that is 30 to 300 micrometer and uh, the data rates that uh, that will detected by the users that is 1 tb per second per kilometer square in the kilometer square area every user will detect the data rate uh, about the 1 terabyte per second in their region and uh, the latency or delay or propagation delay in the sixth generation mobile network communication that is less than 1 millisecond so this is very uh, much uh, important in the 6g uh, very big achievement in the sixth generation because this is the 100 to 1000 time faster than 5g so in the 5g uh, the latency or delay is the less than 10 millisecond but in the 6g the delay is less than 1 millisecond so this is very uh, much important and very useful for auto uh, autonomous driving or automatic uh, or self driving cars so this is the important thing and uh, next one the, the frequency spectrum that is used in the sixth generation that is 0.06 to 10 terahertz spectrum is used in the sixth generation so next one uh, the position accuracy or finding the any user uh, or finding the location of any user with the accuracy of 10 cm in the indoor any user that are uh, in the indoor uh, and uh, with the help of 6g we will find the location of that indoor user in the 10 cm range or it find the 10 cm range area of indoor user and for outdoor uh, it find the uh, 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 location that is in 1 meter range so this is the positioning accuracy of the sixth generation mobile network next one the uh, in the 6g uh, here we use the sub 6 gigahertz band sub 6 gigahertz band that is used for the long distance communications where where we will need the long distance uh, transmission where we use the 6 gigahertz band so it supports the mobility of 1000 km per hour so this is the this is also very important thing uh, the here the mobility or movement uh, communication that is very much it 1000 km per hour so next one that is it in the 6g it use the ultra massive mimo system basically ultra massive number of the multiple input multiple output system so as it will compare with the uh, fourth generation five fifth generation in the fourth generation uh, here are used the only mimo system where multiple input multiple output system system is used in the 4 4g after 4g uh, the second version of the mimo that is in the massive mimo that is used in the 
5G where the multiple number of the antennas are deployed or more number of massive number of the antennas are deployed on the uh, base stations in the 5G and ultra massive means more than 5G the number of the antennas deployed are mounted on the base stations 6G base stations basically on the ground and also here we will discuss the uh, unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs that are the base stations that are the flying base stations uh, that are used in the sixth generation so that we will discuss in the in this uh, figure and next one is a NOMA that is non orthogonal multiple access technique basically this technique is uh, the non orthogonal multiple technique uh, it uh, in this technique uh, it uh, uh, transmit it send only non orthogonal signal to the receiver or we can say it adopts the transmission information at the transmi uh, transmitter end and uh, it uh, sends the only the interference uh, to the channel and at the receiver end uh, it will uh, cancel that particular interference uh, with the help of success interference cancellation technique and demodulate the adopted information uh, at the receiver end so in the non orthogonal multiple access technique and uh, next one that is the uh, orthogonal orbital momentum OOM sorry OOM here and orthogonal orbital momentum in this technique this technique is used in the 6G and in these all all are the techniques are used in the 6G and in the orthogonal orbital movement technique here the multiple number of the data streams will be multiplexed at the same channel so at the same channel we will multiplex the multiple number of the data streams so in the in this orthogonal orbital momentum technique that is used in the sixth generation wireless communication system so let's move to the this figure the overview of the 6g network so here in this video uh, i am only uh, discussing some overview of the 6G and these uh, networks space network, uh, air network, ground network, underwater network, moving network all these things and in the next upcoming videos we will discuss one by one uh, and uh, in, in the next upcoming videos we will discuss one by one so, color of this first one we will discuss the space network here this one is a space network and these all are the satellites this is s1 satellite s2 satellite s3 satellite s4 satellites these are different different satellites and these all are interconnected with each other with the help of sixth generation mobile network here this space network with the help of this connection this is in interconnected with airships means air networks interconnected this network is interconnected with this air network space network and air network have an connection here this will connect it with this this will connect it with this with the help of 6g this will connect it with this and this will connect it with this also this will connect it with the unmanned uh, not not with un unmanned aerial vehicles only connected with this hot air balloon or this is the air network so in in the space network we uh, there are the satellites that are in interconnected with the uh, sixth generation network and this is possible with the help of long communication long distance communication system in the 6g that is where the sub 6 gigahertz band is used and the next one in this air air network here the airships uh, airplanes are there hot air balloons are there so that are interconnected with each other and also connected with the space network communication and this uh, air network also is connected with the uh, th this is the moving networks that are the unmanned aerial vehicles that are the 
basically flying base stations uav these are the flying base stations so these are connected with this this so uh, this uh, air network are connected with the unmanned aerial vehicles and also uh, and this unmanned aerial vehicles are connected with the ground base stations ground base stations so these these whole the things are interconnected with the help of sixth generation mobile network communication system and in in this below these these lines are represents the interconnection between the interconnection these also inter connection between the interconnection between the networks so first one we, we have discussed second one that is the air, air networks we have already discussed third one are the moving networks where means uav uavs means unmanned aerial vehicles that are the flying base stations that can be fly and move from one uh, place to another place in any time of the emergency or anything uh, so it will uh, helpful it, it these are very very helpful in case of any emergency and uh, next one this is the ground ground network so in the ground network here uh, these are the buildings on, on and on the buildings that are mounted on the 6g base stations also some 5g base stations there 4g base stations there but here these that are all connected with the 6g network 6g uh, cloud so this is the on the building this is the 6g uh, base stations here and uh, these are the vehicles this is the road and these are the vehicles that are moving on the road and uh, this is the ground network so these are the pedestrian users uh, pedestrian user this is the ground base stations and all these vehicles here that are interconnected with this ground base stations the, from this base station the these building uh, the base station that are small base station that are mounted on the building that are uh, taking the signal from our from the this main ground base stations and all the all the things on the ground that are interconnected with each other with the help of six generation mobile networks and these vehicles these vehicles also interconnected to each other with the help of six generation network and uh, uh, on the on the road on on this road and uh, in, in the tires of these vehicles uh, that have used the some coils uh, for charging the uh, vehicles batteries and all these ba uh, vehicles are uh, the electric vehicles in the future in the six generation uh, in the time of six generation mobile network communication or after 2030 so these all are things we have discussed here and this is the ris this this is basically re ris this is a device or uh, reflector component here this is the reconfigure ris full form means reconfigurable intelligent surface so the work of reconfigurable intelligent surfaces that that have used the passive reflectors that are responsible for the reflection of the electromagnetic wave signal or 6g wave signal and that is very helpful for communication with the vehicles and users in the ground network so uh, due to this ris component all the em signal or 6g signal is reflected in and uh, destinate at the road so all the vehicles uh, are uh, fully co uh, covered with the 6G signal so this is very helpful in case of uh, vehicles or self driving cars uh, that are uh, moving on the road and that will serve the users so the in the ground network and there are also the smart factories smart cities uh, buildings these are all interconnected with each, each other with the help of 6G network so in the ground network and uh, this ground net uh, ground network this is connected interconnected with air network and air network is interconnected with space network and this ground network is also connected with 
uh, with this uh, movement network also that move in the movement net network that are the unmanned aerial vehicles are there means the flying base stations are there and this ground network is also connected with the uh, underwater uh, network or in the deep sea network in the uh, under underwater uh, network here are the vessels vessels are there sea based networks are there uh, submarines are there underwater some vehicles are there and all these vehicles are interconnected with the help of this some uh, 6g base stations and these base stations are connected with the ground also ground also and also connected with the unmanned aerial vehicles means moving or flying base stations that are that will serve the these underwater devices or underwater uh, communication that will possible that is possible with the help of the unmanned aerial vehicles and uh, from the with the help of the ground base stations also so these are the overview of the uh, some networks that are uh, used in the uh, 6g space network air network uh, moving network ground network uh, underwater network these different type of different different networks the some overview just this is just overview of these networks in the sixth generation so in the next uh, some upcoming videos we will discuss one by one in the detail uh, of uh, these networks in the sixth generation so that's all for today lecture guys uh, if you really something learn from this video please subscribe my channel and share the videos and comment so thank you guys